Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel! I have done some fall thrifting recently. Um, I don't know why I'm doing that though, because it's still 95 degrees outside, which is why my hair is up, because I cannot be bothered with even thinking about putting on a sweater. I would literally die of heat exhaustion. I dream of Jeannie. The way I had this video planned was it was going to be more of like a fall thrift with me kind of video, but I genuinely don't understand how people can do those because one, there's always just like three people in the thrift store and they're always like right next to me and I'm always self-conscious. But also because I can only ever find like one or two things at the thrift store and things just kind of gradually build up over time. I generally don't understand how people can do that. Also, in my defense, I know I just posted one of these videos, but that one was actually like a month ago. So the other day, on Monday to be exact, I was at Goodwill and I was wa wandering around, just minding my own business. I go thrift shopping usually every Monday um, and I was going through the purses and I recognized this pattern and I was like, holy crap, like it must be a fake Fendi bag. I pull it out and I'm like, hmm, interesting. I look inside of it guys and there is, there's a serial number on the inside. I got this Fendi bag, this Fendi bag for, I didn't even take the tag off yet to use it because I want to share this with you guys. $8. I literally got this for $8. It's a real Fendi bag. I mean, it needs a little bit of cleaning up and stuff, but I mean, all in all, Fendi bag for $8. You guys know I love a good vintage bag. Like, this is a steal. I'm really excited about it. Cody was, like, telling everyone at his work, honestly, you guys need to find someone who's excited about your thrift finds as you are. That's what you guys deserve. I got this Fendi bag for $8, and that is the tea. I'm so excited about that. So now that I got that out of the way, I want to share with you guys quite possibly the coolest pair of shoes that I have ever found ever at a thrift store. I actually have two pair of shoes that are incredible and I'm shook about them. So here we go. These are dirty because I wore them in Nantucket, but these are a vintage pair of heels. They were only $150 because I got them 50% off. They're by Fresco by Pierre, and look at this acrylic heel. Like, do we die? Because I died. I literally died. I love these so much, and I really hope the cobbler can fix them up because they don't have, like, the thing on the bottom to um, grip or whatever. Let me know if you guys have any experiences with cobblers because I personally have no experience whatsoever. So I need to, like, know what I'm supposed to do because I'm clueless. The next pair of shoes I am obsessed with and they are actually from Fredericks of Hollywood so it's not like a name brand or anything vintage. I just saw these. I was shopping with my friend Liz and we were like that is literally Carrie Bradshaw to a T. I got these for seven bucks you guys. They're feather pumps and they're my size. I'm so excited. I'm literally dying to wear these. I can't wait to wear them. Probably gonna wear them to a wedding. Um I'm extra, I know. I mean, Carrie Bradshaw, guys. Carrie Bradshaw heels for $7. That is amazing. Then I have a bag full of accessories that I want to show you guys. My favorite place to thrift at in Nashville is the Southern Thrifts, and they had like 50% off on Labor Day. So I got a lot of these 50% off. I got this pair of earrings that are cool for whatever, half of two. So 130. I got these clip-ons that are like a pearl. Those were a dollar. And then finally for eight bucks, I got this chain, this snake chain necklace. Honestly, impressed with the quality of this. I don't, I mean, it's not real gold, but it looked like something from like Majuri or something like that. I paid eight dollars for this and I think it's like, it's better than something you'd find at Forever 21. That's pretty much the same price, so I consider that a win. And then for $2.99, I got these clip-ons, too. And the last um, little item, accessory item that I want to show you guys is this scarf. I got it on half-off blue tag day, so I got this $2.99 scarf for $1.50. And Houndstooth was so in last year, so I was like, you know what? Let's get it for this year, so... Could be a cute top. Now moving on to clothing. I love clothing. Like it took me a while to get into like 
thrifting clothes, but honey, I'm home. Right now, they're bringing out all of the cute little vintage coats, and you guys know I have such a soft spot for coats. Like, I can't stop buying them. So I found this one at Goodwill the other day. It was 20 bucks, and it's real leather, so that's how I justify spending over, like, $10 on a coat from Goodwill as if it's like actual leather and it is this you'll see it on the try on portion but it's got shoulder pads it's a long blue leather coat she is stunning I love it I mean take me to England in this I like keep buying stuff like I'm going abroad because I'm like this would look so cute if we went here or like here and I have literally the only cold weather trip Cody and I have planned as of right now is to Seattle and Portland which I guess I could wear this too but yeah, it's 95 degrees outside and I'm thrifting this coat. And now for the big kahunas, guys. I found this coat and I have never been in love with a coat more than maybe my... Okay, actually this one beats out the Technicolor like tie-dye one that I got a few weeks ago. This coat is my dream. This was a little bit more expensive as well. It was $22.99. It's a size extra small and I genuinely don't understand how this is an extra small because it fits me perfectly. It is this black leather coat, you guys. So dead. Okay, it's got this like paisley detailing on the lapel and just like the back of it. I mean, you guys, you're gonna see this on, you're gonna be like, Sarah, it was literally made for you. And I'm gonna be like, I know. That one was really exciting for me. I'm really thrilled about it, so go me. I can't get over how good the stuff that I have to show you guys are. I keep dying. I got this on a half off day for Labor Day from Southern Thrift, but it is this two-piece blazer. It's by the brand MJ Carell, and it's just like this pretty burgundy plum color with this interesting detail. I don't know what exactly that is inlaid into the fabric, but it's just a blazer with the most iconic high-waisted pants ever. There, I mean, these are straight up 80s pants and I'm so obsessed with them. They fit me perfectly. They were literally made for me and I'm so excited about them. Try on portion, you guys are going to be dying over these because they're iconic, you know? Like, this is exciting. So, thrilling find. I think I got this for $4. Honestly, I'm like, oh my god, my lighting's so messed up right now. But in reality, I'm just really, really pale. I haven't self-tanned in a while and don't really want to, so. Cardigans are so in right now. So I picked up this one from Tally Ho Creation. It reminds me of something that would be, that I almost purchased last year on Revolve by Tula Rosa. Except this was six bucks. And uh, it's like a very subtle houndstooth. I thought it was really nice. And it's actual wool, so I'm going to be itching my body to death. You guys might have seen the picture of me in this um, at my Sonder when I was in Boston, but is this big Moo Moo dress. Uh, it's just like a cover-up. It's so ugly. I got it for $1.50. It's by the brand Willa Winlar. Cody calls it my poncho, but I don't know. I was like, I can use this as a nightgown or just like lounging around the house being luxurious. You'll quickly realize that I love the, like, lingerie section. Well, not the lingerie. That kind of freaks me out. But, like, the slip dresses and, like, the sleepwear and robes and stuff. I love that. We have two more items to show you guys. That's it. Two more. Okay. Oh, nope. Just kidding. I forgot about this. I got this blouse, which I wore when I was in Boston. I wore it in the picture. You probably can't tell. the shooting in my green suit on my Instagram. It is by Claudia Richard. It is this big blouse that's oversized. Well, I mean, it's oversized on me because I bought it a size too large, but it's got like a really pointy collar, which I'm super obsessed with, and I think it's a very 70s. Um, and it's just got like this really cool like eyelet lace detail. I don't know how I would describe it, but I think it's very, very pretty. I'm obsessed with it. I got that for like $2. Who can complain about that one? And then finally, my last two items. So I picked up this. Are you guys ready? Christian Dior nightgown. It's a size large, so it's definitely a little oversized. It was 7 bucks, but how often do you find a Christian Dior nightgown? I've never found one in my like year of 
thrifting at the thrift store. So, you know, I was just like, I, I guess I need it. I'm just gonna be lounging around in this in the winter time. Um, it's not exactly like the most like glamorous thing, but to me, I'm just gonna be lounging around in my Christian Dior nightgown, kind of looking like an old lady, but how could I resist this, you guys? Christian Dior, way to go, Sarah. And also from the same trip, I got this Vic vintage Victoria's Secret. Like look at how old this tag is robe um it's got shoulder pads in it it makes me feel so fabulous so i had to pick it up so that concludes my haul video for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed it and you are inspired hopefully to go to your local thrift store and do some shopping because i um kind of dominated it this year when it comes to vintage clothes until next time i will talk to you all later thanks for watching bye